What if everything you thought you knew about the universe was just the first page of a much larger, stranger book? For decades, we stared at a single photograph and called it the edge of everything. Now the James Webb Space Telescope has ripped that page out, revealing a cosmos built faster, bigger, and weirder than our theories could handle. It has fundamentally broken our models of cosmic evolution. What it found isn't just more stars, but a complete rewriting of the rules of existence. Let's delve into what Webb uncovered together. 10,000 Galaxies How do you take a picture of the beginning of time? In 2004, astronomers led by Stephen Beckwith gambled on a wild idea. They pointed the Hubble Space Telescope at a patch of sky in the constellation Fornax so dark and empty, it seemed pointless. For 11 straight days, Hubble stared into that void, gathering photons that had traveled for over 13 billion years. When the images were stitched together, the result was legendary. The Hubble Ultra Deep Field. In an area less than one-tenth the size of the full moon, nearly 10,000 galaxies appeared. Each smudge of light was an entire system of stars, gas, and dust. Here were cosmic pinwheels, ancient glowing ellipticals, and messy distant blue clumps hinting at the universe's chaotic adolescence. This image gave astronomers their first real census of the early cosmos, allowing them to count and categorize galaxies from different epochs. It confirmed that galaxies evolved, growing from smaller, more irregular shapes into the grand spirals we see today. This wasn't just a picture, it was a core sample of cosmic history, showing us what the universe looked like when it was just 800 million years old. For a generation, this single breathtaking image defined the boundary of our observable universe. Hubble's Limits But here's the thing about a masterpiece, it can make you forget what's outside the frame. The Hubble Ultra Deep Field for all its glory had profound limitations, think of it like this, the universe is expanding, and as it expands, light from the most ancient galaxies gets stretched. This process, called redshift, shifts light from the visible spectrum far into the infrared. Legendary infrared astronomer George Reek knew for decades that this meant a huge portion of cosmic history was simply invisible to telescopes like Hubble. Its vision, sharpest in visible and ultraviolet light, started to fade as it reached for the red end of the spectrum. It simply couldn't see the most red-shifted ancient light from the era known as Cosmic Dawn. On top of that, thick clouds of cosmic dust acted like a celestial fog, blocking and scattering visible light. Entire populations of the oldest, dustiest galaxies were completely hidden from view. The field itself was also a constraint. Covering a tiny patch of the sky, it provided a deep but incredibly narrow slice of the cosmos, a view akin to looking at a forest through a straw. Astronomers had a keyhole view, but they lacked the broader context. Were these 10,000 galaxies cosmic rarities, or just the tip of an unseen iceberg? The deepest secrets were waiting just beyond the edge of what Hubble could see. The Golden Mirror to see what Hubble couldn't, you don't just need a bigger telescope, you need a different kind of eye. Enter the James Webb Space Telescope, at its heart is a breathtaking 6.5 meter primary mirror, nearly three times wider than Hubble's, and with more than six times the light gathering area. This isn't just a larger mirror, it's an engineering marvel designed for a completely different purpose. Coated in a microscopically thin layer of gold, the 18 hexagonal segments are optimized to reflect infrared light with extreme efficiency. Led by senior project scientist and Nobel laureate John Mather, the team behind Webb didn't build a replacement for Hubble, they built a time machine. Its mission is to reach deep into the infrared, the realm where the light from the universe's first stars and galaxies now resides. The entire observatory is protected by a five-layer sunshield the size of a tennis court, which keeps the mirror and its instruments at a frigid minus 233 degrees Celsius. This extreme cold is essential to prevent the telescope's own heat from blinding its sensitive infrared detectors. Webb was designed to see where Hubble goes blind, peering behind veils of cosmic dust and capturing ancient light that has been stretched by the expansion of space-time itself. This is the key to unlocking the universe's hidden chapters. Seeing the Invisible So how does a golden mirror translate into seeing back in time? Well, the magic is in the instruments that sit behind it. As the universe expands, ancient light gets stretched into the infrared. Webb was specifically built to follow these faint signals with its near-infrared camera, or NIR cam, and its mid-infrared instrument, or MIRI. These instruments can actually pierce through the cosmic dust clouds that blinded Hubble. 
the teams that developed them, led by principal investigators, like Marsha Rieke for Nearcam and Gillian Wright for Miri, created the tools for a revolution. This technological leap paved the way for a new kind of survey, one that would capture both depth and breadth. Teams led by astronomers Caitlin Casey and John Cartaltape pushed for an ambitious project called Cosmos Web. Their vision was to use Webb's unparalleled infrared sensitivity not just to find a few more distant galaxies, but to map a huge swath of the early universe. This required incredible precision, using specific dithering patterns to move the telescope slightly between exposures to fill in the gaps on the detectors. They understood that seeing the big picture, the environment around the galaxies, was just as crucial as seeing the galaxies themselves. Webb's instruments make the invisible visible, transforming what was once missing data into a continuous record of cosmic history. 780,000 and counting. If Hubble's deep field was a single photograph, the Cosmos Web Survey is an entire atlas, forget 10,000 galaxies, over 250 hours, Webb's gaze swept across a region of the sky roughly the area of three full moons. Within this single, continuous mosaic, Astronomers have cataloged nearly 780,000 galaxies. Let that number sink in for a moment. That is not a statistical estimate. Each one is a real, captured system. Co-led by Jehan Karteltepe at the Rochester Institute of Technology, this survey is about 80 times larger in area than the Hubble Ultra Deep Field, and achieves nearly the same depth. The sheer scale is, honestly, staggering. The light from some of these systems began its journey when the universe was less than 300 million years old. Because of its size and depth, the survey isn't just finding more galaxies, it's finding entire populations that were completely invisible to Hubble. Red, dusty, massive galaxies that are now filling in the gaps in our understanding of cosmic history. This massive dataset allows astronomers to move beyond studying rare, individual objects and start analyzing entire populations providing the statistical power needed to test our cosmological models. This is not a random sample, it's a census on a cosmic scale. The Cosmic Web What do you see when you can map nearly a million galaxies in one continuous sweep? You see the architecture of the universe itself. The Cosmos Web mosaic reveals a breathtaking tapestry of filaments, clusters, and massive voids, collectively known as the Cosmic Web. This concept, first mapped in the 1980s by astronomers like Margaret Geller and John Hukra, is the universe's underlying structure, and Webb has rendered it in stunning detail. But the galaxies are only tracing what's really there, an invisible scaffolding of dark matter. As shown in simulations by cosmologists like Volker Springel, these sprawling dark matter structures stretch for millions of light years, dictating the fates of the galaxies within them. The filaments act as cosmic highways, channeling gas and galaxies into dense intersections where clusters form. Voids, on the other hand, are vast, empty regions where galaxies can drift for billions of years without encountering a neighbor. This new atlas allows astronomers to study how a galaxy's environment shapes its life. Graceful spiral galaxies tend to live in quieter areas, while distorted, irregular galaxies are often found along crowded filaments, their shapes warped by gravitational tides. For the first time, we're not just looking at a collection of island universes, we are seeing a connected, evolving landscape where every galaxy story is shaped by the cosmic geography around it. The Infinity Anomaly But, you know, this new map isn't just confirming what we expected on a grander scale, it's actually showing us things that, according to our current models, simply shouldn't exist. Across the Cosmos Web field and other deep surveys, Webb is finding anomalies that challenge the very rules of cosmic evolution. For instance, a team led by researcher Hannah Ubler found a merger of two galaxies, a system called ZS7, just 740 million years after the Big Bang. Inside this collision, they found a supermassive black hole of 50 million solar masses that is growing far more rapidly than theories allow. Black holes this big, this early, really defy the standard model where they are expected to grow slowly over billions of years. This discovery suggests that mergers are a critical pathway for black holes to grow at extreme rates in the early universe, or perhaps they form from massive seeds we don't yet understand. It implies the universe had a fast track for building these cosmic monsters that our theories haven't accounted for. This single system forces a radical rethink of the relationship between galaxy mergers and black hole assembly in the first billion years of cosmic time, the evidence is clear. 
The universe was building monsters long before we thought it was possible. Too fast, too early. The Infinity Galaxy isn't the only rule breaker Webb has found. Across its field of view, the telescope is spotting galaxies that seem far too mature for their age. During a period known as Cosmic Noon, about 10 billion years ago, our models predicted a universe filled with young, blue, chaotic galaxies, furiously forming stars. Instead, as pioneering galaxy researcher Sandra Faber and her modern counterparts have shown, Webb is finding giants that are already quenched. Their star formation has shut down, and their colors have faded to red. Some of these massive galaxies apparently lived fast and died young, gathering all their stars and snuffing out their own growth when the universe was less than a third of its current age. The processes that cause this, known as feedback, must be far more efficient than our models assumed. Even more confounding is the presence of orderly spiral galaxies, with barred structures at redshifts where only turbulent, irregular shapes should exist. These galaxies rotate with a calm stability that should have taken billions more years to develop. The implication is unavoidable. Galaxies organize themselves and shut down their star formation far more quickly and efficiently than any of our models allow. The data from Cosmos Web doesn't just fill in the map, it forces us to redraw it entirely. First light. So, just how far back can Webb see? The answer is rewriting the first chapter of the cosmic story. Webb has delivered spectroscopically confirmed record holders, with the current champion being JD's GSZ-14-0. Its light began its journey to us just 290 million years after the Big Bang. For the astronomers on the JD's team, like Kevin Hainlein who first spotted it, the moment was electric. This wasn't a faint hint, it was a clear, confirmed signal. But the biggest surprise wasn't its age. Using the ALMA Observatory, another team led by Stefano Carniani detected the chemical signature of oxygen in this galaxy. Let me explain why that's so important. Oxygen isn't created in the Big Bang. It's forged in the hearts of massive stars and scattered through space when they die. Finding it in a galaxy, this ancient means at least one full generation of massive, short-lived stars had already formed, died, and enriched their surroundings with heavy elements. This process, known as chemical enrichment, was thought to take much longer. The universe was building complexity at a breakneck pace, playing out its first cycles of birth, death, and recycling in record time. Rewriting the Rules the discoveries from the James Webb Space Telescope have thrown our timeline of cosmic evolution into disarray. What we're seeing is a universe that assembled itself with shocking speed. Galaxies were forming, growing massive and shutting down far too quickly for our current models to explain. The evidence reviewed by senior JWST scientists like Dr. Jane Rigby points to a universe where the fundamental processes of galaxy formation, feedback from black holes, and the assembly of dark matter halos must be far more efficient than we ever thought. It suggests that the seeds of these massive structures were planted much earlier and grew much faster. The neat orderly timeline is gone, replaced by a picture of a cosmos that was complex and structured almost from the very beginning. Yet, for all its power, Webb has surveyed only a tiny fraction of the sky. Every new image raises more questions. How did stable galactic disks form so quickly? What mechanisms quenched star formation so early? The scientific community is now in a race to find answers, planning wider surveys and using other telescopes to follow up on Webb's discoveries. The universe has shown its hand, and it's a far more interesting one than we expected. We are living in the first moments of a revolution. The James Webb Space Telescope has shown us that the universe is not just larger than we thought, but stranger, more complex, and was built far faster than we ever dared to imagine. The Hubble Ultra Deep Field was a postcard from the past, but Cosmos Web is the first draft of a new history, one that we are only just beginning to read. The real frontier isn't just about distance anymore, it's about how quickly we can rethink everything we thought we knew. If these cosmic revelations expanded your mind, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. Until next time, keep looking up. Thanks for watching Simply Science.